I am super excited about today's video. It is a DIY video and it's a teensy bit different. Today, we're having a pineapple party. Summer's coming to a close, but that doesn't mean that party season is over. There's still plenty of barbecues and parties and Labor Day and all that good stuff. I think it's Labor Day, right? So many helicopters, like stop. And I thought it would be fun to have a pineapple party. I've been very inspired by pineapple recently with my mouth and my eyes. I think they're very cute. And so I saw some stuff on Pinterest, came up with a few of my own ideas, and I really wanted to just put them all together in a video. So today we're having a pineapple party, but all, you don't have to have like a specific pineapple party. All of these will work for a summer party. I have decor, two treats, and a cocktail, which is so good. I'm really, really pumped about today's video. So everything is super easy, super fun, super delicious and I hope you guys enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more DIY fun party videos. Let's get to it. What's this? Oh! So for today's video, you're gonna be needing a buttload of pineapples. So if you find yourself with just a bunch of pineapples around the house, I got you covered. So we're gonna start with our cocktail first because it's five o'clock somewhere, right? We're gonna be making peach mango pineapple sangria. So you're gonna need a pitcher, hopefully as cute as mine, full of two bottles of your favorite white wine. Fill it up with ice and then we're gonna use some pineapple juice. Try to use something without a bunch of sugar in it. Um, I was measuring it out, but then I just put in the whole can, so whatevs. Then add your peach puree, and then we're gonna add chunks of mango and pineapple. They can be frozen or not, it's up to you. Then stir it all together, let it sit for four to six hours or overnight. Or if you need to drink it right away, I understand. Because it's delicious, it's seriously so good. You're gonna have a nice, refreshing mango peach pineapple sangria. It's literally so good. I still have it in my fridge. I drink it every day. I'm drinking it right now. Just kidding, I'm not drinking it now, but I wish I was. It is so good. Now it's on to the treats, and for the first treat, I'm making a healthy version of Disneyland's famous Dole Whip. So you're gonna be needing some frozen pineapple, very important that it's frozen, and some coconut milk, and I just like this light coconut milk from Trader Joe's. You're gonna fill up your blender of choice with the pineapple chunks, and then you're gonna take the coconut milk and just pour it in. It might take some trial and error on how much coconut milk you need. I did have to add a little bit more once I was into the blending process, but once you do it, shake it on up, make sure everything's blended. It should be this consistency. Oh my gosh, it looks so good um, and can we talk about how I tried to make this like a really nice shot but it was just spilling everywhere and just pretend like this isn't happening and I cleaned it up and it looks cute there but that's literally it guys it tastes just like the Disneyland Dole Whip but it's better for you won't give you a stomach ache and it's literally so good I want one right now and this second treat is the opposite of healthy, but it's my favorite fruit dip. So you're gonna be needing a box of cream cheese and an entire jar of marshmallow cream. Sounds healthy, right? So all you're gonna do is mix the two together. So put the entire thing of cream cheese in the bowl and the entire thing of marshmallow cream. And this gets sticky, let me warn ya but that's literally it. All you do is mix those together with a hand mixer. But the fun part is we're gonna put it in a pineapple boat. So as you can see, I cut off the side of the pineapple. I left the stem and everything. I just slivered off a little bit of the side and I'm gonna gut the pineapple a little bit. So I'm just using a knife to cut around where I want to gut. And then I'm using an ice cream scoop to get the juice and the meat out of there. And this takes a little bit of time, but once you have a little bit of a divot in there, you can use it to put in your fruit dip. How cute is that? So once you get it all in there, just use your spatula to smooth it out on top. And then I give you full permission to taste what's left on the spatula because it's the best. Share it with who you're with because it tastes so good. Then sprinkle it with some cinnamon. This is probably the best part on top and then move it to a platter. And I'm just decorating it with some strawberries, some sliced mango, and then also some sliced pineapple because it's a pineapple party and you're gonna have the best fruit tray it's so cute and seriously this is this fruit tip is one of my favorite things about summer i make it every summer and it, it's so good you have to try it see i had to sneak a little taste oh i just want some of it now it looks so good and now it's time for some decor and this first one is very easy it's just a painted pineapple literally all i did was paint the leaves of this pineapple it's a very long and tedious process and as you can see it's not perfect oh hello but it is so cute in the center of your table and it's worth the time and now we have this little tiny succulent pineapple pot. So you'll be needing a succulent, a tiny pot to match the size of the succulent, some yellow paint, some white paint, and some paint brushes. So all you're gonna do is take your pot and paint it yellow until it is opaque. Mine took two coats, but if yours is opaque in one, that's fine too. And after it's opaque and dry, we're gonna take our white paint and a smaller detailed painting brush and we're just gonna paint some like 
strokes that are at a diagonal, as you can see. My camera died in the middle of this, so I apologize. It doesn't show the full process, but you just kind of want to paint swooping diagonal lines, and then you're going to do that around the whole pot, and then go back and do it the opposite way, so that, as you can see, when you're done, it kind of has this crisscross effect, kind of like a pineapple. You could use brown as well, but I thought white was a little bit lighter and nicer. And then once it's dry, just put in your little succulent to look like the top of the pineapple, and it's so cute! And for our last decor piece, we have a pineapple vase. So you're gonna need a pineapple and a very sharp knife, and you're just gonna cut off the top, try and do it as straight as possible. Then you have a little hat. <laughs> We're gonna plant this. What is it? A pineapple. And after that, you're going to gut the pineapple. Think of it as carving a pumpkin, and once you get all of the guts out of it, it does take a little bit of time, but you'll have a deep hole, then you're gonna wanna fill it up with water just like a regular vase, and then cut your flowers and put them inside. I picked a bouquet of flowers that were all different colors and types of flowers, just cause I think it's more fun that way. But yeah, after you're done arranging your flowers, you have this really cute centerpiece that everybody will love. And ugh, how can you not love that? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the pineapple fun that we had today. If you want to watch my last video, click right there in the center and all my social media links are down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I love you guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye.